All right, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to shake the wheel a little bit just so you can see how much play there is. Now this side, the passenger side, the bushing's actually okay, so you know, this is the amount of play that I would expect. Not too much. Now we're on to the driver's side, uh, the side that's failing, and just look how much more play there is when the wheel is uh, shaken. This thing is rocking all over the place, like it almost looks loose. You can see it's just super wobbly, and you can feel this when driving. So yeah, you can see how much play there is on this side, and uh, the the poly like it's just flexing way too much. It's it's not supporting itself anymore. Another time we were doing the same test, we were seeing that this outer uh, lip of the poly was kind of bending out this way towards the front of the car and it just you know was too thin to adequately support the uh, motion of the arm and prevent the arm from rocking forward and backwards. So here we have the uh, two older control arms with the Super Pro bushings out and uh, you can just even see from here like you can see there's a little bit more of a gap between the center uh, metal core and the uh, polyurethane. Um, and uh, you can see if we're just going to try and push them out, you can see one comes out a lot easier than the other and one's uh, significantly more supported. So this side we can barely push out and the other side just slides freely in and out and that was contributing to all that wobble or movement that we were seeing. And yeah, you can just see the amount of wobble that was in this driver's side uh, bushing. You should not be able to uh, wobble the inner cylinder that much.